true, and that for the following reason. Yeah? It, there is something very special about this identity, 4 equal 2 plus 2. And it's very different from any other identity for the following reason. 4 equal 2 plus 2 in three different ways. Because you can decompose four element sets, right, in, 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 two, in two halves and three ways. If you take any other number bigger than 4, right, for small, forget about it, you have much more. Right? If they decompose 5 and 2 plus 3, it's much more, etc. There is no other co configuration like that. So what it means, yeah, it means if you have four element set, you can out of that canonically to have three element set. It means that permutation group of on four points admits a homomorphism to, to the one and three points. The group is not simple. So the group of permutation for elements is not simple. And this, of course, most dramatic seen in the young mill theory, because it implies that the Lie algebra SO4 is not simple. So it's splits in two. So the trivial kind of equation, minimizing something like integral curvature, splits, and we have equation of the first order. And then you have index theory, and then you have Donaldson theory. So you can say that this is kind of the proof of the Donaldson theorem, right? <laughs> Like, this is the kind of specific specificity of the problem. Or everything else is huge kind of theory, but it's universal, nothing special. About three is not so clear, because three, it's kind of kind of simple group. Of course, it's a billion simple group. And then indeed, in the dimension three, we don't have kind of such a st structural clarity. Which in, even in dimension four, we don't have it, but in three, we have less, right? And so, coming back to geometry, yeah, why dimension three is that special from this point of view? In dimension four, it's clear. However, this identity tells you that these numbers are kind of related in an intimate way. And, uh, and if we use this kind of 2,000 years ago, maybe we knew many other things, but today. So what happens to my glasses? Uh -huh. Now? Hmm? In three, but three equals to three, you see? You don't have no reduction. <laughs> it's not less. Three is not smaller than three. I, uh, right? So you don't, you don't have homomorphism groups, right? It, it's, it's still the alternating group and three elements. Is, huh? The sign. Yeah, no, no, but alternating group, yeah. Of course, we've got alter, alternating group is still simple for three, right? The only case where it's not simple is four. The alternating group is not simple. And of course, it's a billion, and, and, and that, of course, corresponds to the billion uh, class field theory. I mean, it's, it, I think it may, it's kind of very superficial what I'm saying, it may seem, but it may also indicate very deep, very deep undercurrents, under yeah. But this, is, this identity, I think, is one of the most fundamental in mathematics. <laughs>